Okay, so I've just finished um, <clears throat> the third game turn. Um, you can see that uh, Stankoff's effectively just cleaned up around here. The only thing left in place is one step of American infantry here. Um, and that was that. Um, in terms of turn 17, final game turn, uh, we rolled for initiative, which was 12-8 to the axis, so the uh, Germans can take the first initiative. Uh, we rolled 3-3 three, three for air points, so they both got three air points. Um, it's actually a five was rolled by the Allies, but they lose two automatically in every game turn. And then for replacements, would you believe the Americans or the Allies again rolled zero, it's got nothing at all, and the axis got 1-1. One, one. Actually, I'm reasonably confident that we haven't got that much although there's we could put replacement steps into um i think there's the odd german unit that's lost some steps um so it's really a question of scanning the map and seeing where we think um the germans would like to strike first for turn 17. okay again i'm um, keeping the uh, camera mobile here just to um give a final overview i've finished turn four um I guess really I should start over here because Kern's Crossroads was really the the crux of turn four. Um, CCC through the mechanized infantry across the Roman aqueduct um, counterattacked uh, the third 104 unit and threw it out of Kern's Crossroads. So for a brief fabulous moment the uh, the Americans were back in charge at Kern's. Um, the second activation inevitably was shoot. Uh, who you can see there is still fresh. Um, CCC went to fatigue two at the end of their activation. Um, but shoot, uh, I think we did an attack by fire with the Panzers, followed by an assault by the Pioneers. Um, it was fairly close, but uh, there was only one step of mechanized American infantry left by the end of that. Um, turn and uh, sadly that that made the difference um, the shoot pioneers cleared it and to be honest obviously they had two other uh, German infantry units we could have moved up but um, I kind of figured it was probably all over by then um, I did have another look at CCA who actually did have the units in place they were um, around Beit El Hafi um, they rolled a partial so moved up into position and were you know reasonably well placed if they could have got a second activation to have had another crack at uh, Kern's Crossroads but unfortunately it wasn't to be um, and that was that. Um, further up the road at uh, City Buzid, uh Stenkov had a good double, app double um, activation finished off the very last of the American defending infantry up there along the uh, the Jebels, uh, and then moved up and got himself into prepared defence, all with no increase in fatigue whatsoever. Um, so all good for him. Uh, further over, yep, Lang did likewise, moved himself into prepared defence and just uh, stuck himself in around about that uh, victory hex. Um, back down the main road to Spätla. Uh, Reams pretty much been there since turn one. Um, didn't manage an attack against them at all. CCB was probably the unit that I maybe should have used. They should have perhaps come hurtling down this road and uh, put in an attack. But at the time, I was more interested in just grabbing that victory hex just in case. Because um, that was probably a logical one for them to take. Um, and to be honest, I'm not really going to say too much more because... Um, you can see the 34th Infantry came in behind. Um, full activation for the first turn, which got them to where they are. Second activation was a fail. Um, we've now got things like um, crossing the streams, affecting the MSRs, because all of the Americans coming on here, uh, and the British, are using exactly the same roads, unfortunately. Um, same supply source. Uh, which also compounded the effect of when the guards finally came to move um, they failed so they didn't uh, didn't actually enter so that was that 
end of uh, Operation Spring Wind, um, German victory. But for all the German victory, and for all, as I've just said, Ream were in Spätler from the very beginning, actually the, the game, the scenario, was still in doubt because um, the Battle for Cairns Crossroads continued right to the very end, um, which made it very interesting. It's, it's far more mobile um, than you would suspect at the beginning when you look at it as a counter game and you think how will it work um, it does remind me of OCS obviously there's, there's certain things which are obviously um, very similar uh, between the two um, but it's a fabulously quick little system once you get into it it's really about learning the various things that affect um, the combats and how you set up and then you know just just how you control your units um, stopping them from hampering each other as well as um, having an effectiveness against the enemy the naturally enough with this being you know the first opening parts of Kassering the German units are all far superior to the American units and the fact that even as I look now at the board um, is it two or three it's three of the German camp groups are still fresh um, there's only two German camp groups dropped to zero. That has a big effect as well on activations and being able to um, do what you want to do with the units. Um, as I said, super interesting. I'd love to play it again, to be honest. And um, the other thing I did think I might do, but I might do it in a different way, I don't know, um, was just have a quick look and reflect historically because um, I don't think this as a, as a battle is too different from the historical outcome with the, with the exception of um, being in Spätler on turn one but given the combat units in the arena at this time there's no reason why the Germans with a bit more foresight couldn't have been in Spätler on turn one because they historically probably accomplished greater destruction of the um, combat commands um, than we have in the game but other than that um, you know this fight which has ended up being a fight kind of around Jebel Hamra is is reasonably historical um, the difference as I said being that um, Rim punched straight through rather than getting embroiled in the fight um, very interesting anyway hope you've enjoyed the game um, have a look and see what I'm going to do next great stuff cheers bye